How are you doing today, guys? Let's get a look at the brand new GEC Talon. So they put a Warncliffe blade inside their Eureka Jack frame. Just got this in today. I wanted to get it on video for you guys before I start to get that patina. And I'll uh, just show you what it looks like brand new. Show you exactly how I received it today. So you're noticing that's uh, Linen Micarta. Let's open this up first. Half stop. With green Linen Micarta. And I have my uh, bull nose here to show you that. Next to Canvas Micarta. Anyways, we'll get to that. So here you go. That is the 92 OD Green Linen Micarta. Love these little tubes and the wax paper. Anyways, very reasonably priced. I could not resist the green linen micarta. So I love green. And let's see it up next to the bull nose, just so you guys can get a feel for the texture differences here. So you can see this is like a finer threaded fabric that they make the linen out of. And the thicker, burler, <laughs> burlier canvas on the bullnose. And anybody curious, the O1 is taking a patina very nicely. See all the scratches. Oh yeah, she's been getting used. I've been looking to uh, add a Eureka Jack frame to my GEC collection for a while and then I seen this just absolutely couldn't resist so there it is with the bar shield you guys know all about the GEC fit and finish all that um, I like it it seems to pack a lot of edge length inside this frame so I'm gonna show you this next to some others just so some of you guys can maybe get a size comparison there there it is next to the Viper see on blade length actual edge length fairly close overall it's smaller but it's not a lot smaller it's slimmer this way this is perfect for watch pocket watch pocket carry <clears throat> Right, we got the Viper. You guys probably seen it next to the bull nose. But let's look at some other worn cliff blades. Here is the Northwoods Fremont Jack. About the same cutting edge. And you can see how slim it is there. <clears throat> and next to my improved trapper. And the improved one has the one cleft secondary. Tidy brand, if I didn't say, means there's no threading, no swedges, or fancy swedges. You can see that swedge kind of rolls down, just like the uh, bull nose. And of course, let's put it up next to the sway back jack. So it's a little larger than that. Let's see, cutting edge. I think it's a perfect size. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. And I like this hump in the frame here, the Eureka Jack pattern. I think it's going to be a really nice companion. I don't know if it would be like a main EDC. Like, I don't think I'd ever leave the house with just this knife. I mean, I. I surely would be okay but the uh, knife not in me I don't think would let me leave without something a little bit bigger maybe a little more stout today is the 25 oh yeah so uh, let's get it up next to this because this is about the only other thing I could think that I have that's one clef so this is a small Insingo Sabenza. It has a little bit less of a cutting edge. 
not bad for a watch pocket carry something real thin as far as slim this way it's not really thin this way about average of course next to a case double blade there anyways it's nice I like this, uh, there's really no grip, no extra texture or anything on this linen micarta. I've never had any linen micarta, so this is kind of my first time really seeing it. It's nice, you can see it's uh, almost shiny there. They must be able to polish this because it's a smaller thread. It must not suck up the um, buffing compound like the canvas micarta. You can see this has a lot of texture on it. The, um, when I unbox this knife, I notice this immediately. Now, this is not worth sending the knife back to me, but this is just something I noticed and I want you guys to notice. And I don't want anybody thinking that because I put so much praise on GC that uh, they're perfect. Usually you can order them and there's no problems. And I wouldn't even say that this is a problem that I'm going to show you, but uh, it is something to know. And maybe if you are going to order one yourself, maybe ask your retailer to take it out and take a look. So, see where that spring comes up? It's kind of crooked in there. Which, yeah, it's nitpicking. It's going to be a user. I'm not complaining. Um, but it's something to know. If you order one, you may want to ask them to check that out. I, uh, I asked my retailer to make sure the blade was centered. And of course, he took care of me. You can see the blade's dead centered in there. So not a huge issue, but it's something you guys should know. And also, I think there was a slight gap. If I can't see it now, maybe it was the way the light was hitting inside this liner here. Because I really don't see any gaps here. Anyways, I'm happy, especially for the price paid. I think it was around $67 to my door. So it's going to be a heck of a user. And, uh, yeah, $10.95. Blade steel half stop does not sit completely flush in there. Again, not a knock. Just something you guys should know. It'd be nice if it did, but I understand production knife under seventy dollars you know you gotta give some things up um the pull is about like the 15s that I have so it's right around a seven maybe a strong six it definitely feels sturdy like it's not gonna fold on me but it's not as stout as the bull nose obviously they are made with two different uh, uses in mind right so it makes sense this is more like a gents knife that's like the rough and tough user so to be expected a little bit lighter pull can pinch it open really easy there's enough blade sticking out there to just pinch it pull it open I think this is gonna see a lot of use I love these worn cleft blades for popping boxes open and peeling apples and stuff like that they're just uh, Great, great blade shape, especially for utility. Small EDC stuff, I get a lot of use out of it. I love the Eureka Jack frame. A little hump in there. It feels good in the hand. The kick comes down, creates almost like a little finger guard. About medium to large size hands here. Feels really nice in any direction. This really feels comfortable. It's like this. It's here, here, and then the hump. Here, here. It's a nice knife. I'm glad I picked it up. And I'm glad you guys are watching the video, guys. I appreciate all your support. There's plenty of more videos to come. We'll see you on the next one.